We're here today at Beamish to celebrate the opening of our bus depot, which is part of our Remaking Beamish project, £20 million development across a three to four year programme, which is absolutely fantastic. So it's been an exciting opportunity for us to open something else for, the visit, for our visitors. The last thing we opened was our welfare hall as part of Remaking Beamish, and this is the next to open in the Remaking Beamish project. So this is going to enhance and really enable us to engage further with our public, with our visitors to the museum. This is going to house some transport, which gets our visitors around the museum, which is absolutely brilliant. The museum is becoming increasingly uh, busy as an attraction and people expect to be carried around it. It's a large site and um, with looking at you know, upwards of 750,000 visitors a year, uh, we need to consider how we move them. And the tramway for many, many years has been uh, at the core of that. Increasingly we're expanding that to a bus operation. So the 1950s town is slightly remote from uh, the tramway route, so buses are an obvious solution. Uh, we have eight vehicles which will be used in support of that service and uh, these will be, made, be based and maintained in this facility here. And we're looking at something like, in, in numerical terms, about 40% extra seats uh, per hour um, which these vehicles can provide. So from the visitor's point of view that means queuing less for a vehicle to get them back. Uh, the important to us that the bus depot was open and very visual so it wasn't a kind of closed door. Uh, obviously a lot of the fleet will be in use on any given day uh, but it's always been a feature of the tram depot that people kind of wander to the railings at the entrance and then look optimistically in trying to see the collections beyond. Uh, with the depot we're going to let people into the building itself so they can see the, the vehicles and inspect them closely but they can also look through the viewing gallery into the workshops uh, in order to see how we maintain them. I'm immensely proud to be standing here today at the opening of the Northern General Transport Bus Depot. It's hugely important for the museum, for the community, uh, in terms of the development of STEM skills, giving the museum a much better facility to maintain and operate its important fleet of buses from, and from our perspective as the local bus operator that the museum uh, is replicating here, uh, an immensely proud part of our 106 year and growing history. Uh, we, we have uh, nearly 750 buses and 2,000 employees in the region uh, and therefore this is an important part of recognising the great work over the of the company over many years. Going North Easter Bus Company has long been a, a museum friend and has been an active participant in various museum activities. We know that many of our employees and our customers come and visit here, but also this is a really important tourism attraction in the area. We're delighted to be running bus services past the front door. Uh, and then I think very lastly, actually we're really proud of our history and, and by working in partnership with Beamish, uh, we're able to keep that long history alive uh, forever and that's, uh, that's really, really important. Yeah, so we've had two vehicles here today. The Route Master I've just mentioned uh, isn't technically ours, but we, we are sponsoring it this year and, and have helped put it back on the road. Uh, and then we've also had uh, one of our more modern Optair Versa buses here today that's used on the number 28 bus service that passes the door and brings many staff and visitors here to, to Beamish. And we've actually painted that in a, in a traditional replica livery. The colour scheme is the same as the SOS bus. And we've done that uh, as a special for today for the bus depot unveiling that's now going to go into service on our number 28 bus route uh, as a mobile advert for Beamish, for the Northern General Depot that's behind us and to promote the bus links that are here as sustainable uh, and accessible transport to bring hopefully more visitors uh, here to Beamish and continue to support the great work that's going on here. So we're obviously very grateful to our supporters and their enthusiasm for us. So we have the National Lottery Heritage Fund, we have the Reese Foundation and Go North East, all of whom have supported us throughout the project, uh, financially and in kind, uh, and it's their enthusiasm that's really helped to make this possible. And it's great to see them on a day like today, uh, including the, the modern uh, Go North East bus, which has been delivered in the same livery as one of our vehicles. Uh, it's kind of, I suppose it shows that it's a genuine um, integral part of their business as, as much as it is for Beamish being part of the community. I think that's just to say a big, big, big thank you to all the partners involved in the project. Um, Reese Foundation have, have paid a, a huge part in, in what's going on uh, behind us, uh, but also the many employees at, and, of course, the volunteers here uh, at Beamish and, and, and then the people here that, that come and make it all worthwhile by actually coming to support and visit. Uh, so if you haven't been for a long time, do come. <laughs>